Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasion series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're treating a geometric transformation using draw point using MATLAB. So, I've broken it up into sections and I'm going to run the section by section. Okay, we've done that. What we then do just comments here. We tidy up the workspace, we clear the command window, we close any open figures. Next one here. We're going to read in the image. We're going to select two or more pairs of control points using the mouse using the get points command, and then we're going to put them into one array called fixed points. So run the section there. Click there, and then using the mouse helps. Now, I've used three pairs of control points, two is the minimum. The more you take, the better, the more spread out, the better, and they cannot be convenient because, you know, they just can't be. Um, the, the matrix will just break down. When you're finished, double click. Now, here, we take the original image, spin it by 30 degrees, we're going to display it. We're going to get the same three pairs of control points and we're going to put them into one array called moving points. So let's run that section. Double click to finish. So there's the pair there. Now, the magic juice, fit geo trans. So we've told it, there's one set of control points in, in the rotation image. There's in the non-rotation image, and we have to tell MATLAB what we think it is, and we think it's a non-reflective similarity. So just go up to the top, what's a non-reflective similarity? It may be a rotation, scale, and translation, and or for any of them. Here, on this line here, we're going to take image two, let's rotate one, use the T form that we got on line 27, and make it the same size and make it a ref 2D as image one. And on line 20, sorry, on line 24, we're going to show it on, on top of each other. And then we're going to display the T form dot T, the sexual transformation matrix itself. So I'm going to move that section there. Now, the colors, see there's a bit of green there and there's a bit of magenta there. If I had selected the three pairs of points exactly, I'd have no color. So the more colour you get, the worse the error. So it's not too bad. I can get rid of that. Well, I can just to restore there a sec. There's T form dot T. So we're going to, in a second or two, we're going to dig out the rotation and the translation and the scale from here. We're going to set up unit vectors uh, parallel to the x-axis. We're going to transform the points forward. So we're taking u and v, and where would they go using t form? You know, so u and v using the transformation matrix. You know, where would they end up? Well, they'd end up as x and y. We're going to get the delta x, and the difference in the x's. We're going to get the delta y, there's a difference in y's, and then we're going to work out the angle using a tan. Now I assume you know if you're here, well, you have to use a tan. And tan inverse in MATLAB is a tan 2. And then we're going to spit out the rotation angle, and we're going to spit out the scale. So let's run the section there. That should be some little look. And... 